If you've done all the work to make your skin healthy, don't blow it by going to Dairy Queen. I guarantee five seconds of mouth pleasure is not worth 24 hours of great health. Okay, so a lot of you guys have been waiting for this one and here it is. Once you have cured your eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, or rosacea, once you've cured your skin disease, can you then eat whatever you wanna eat? Or do you have to stay on a specific diet for the rest of your life? Once you've cured eczema, can you eat cheat meals or, and go back to eating whatever you want? So probably the first thing to talk about is do I do cheat meals? Or if I were to fall off the wagon, would my eczema and dermatitis come back just boom in a couple days? The answer is probably not. Um, but I don't take that risk because I enjoy feeling great and I'm a very conservative person when it comes to my diet and my health. I do have clients who have totally cured their skin and once in a while they have cheat meals and it does absolutely nothing to their skin. But it's very dangerous because you don't know when that straw is gonna break the camel's back again. You might be able to go through a year or two of healing cure your skin and spend some years enjoying that healthy skin or even the first year of having healthy skin, you might be able to go to McDonald's, order a Big Mac, fries, Coke Classic, cherry pie, eat it, and then the next day have absolutely nothing wrong with you. No skin issues, no digestion issues, but what will that do to your psyche and what will that do to your ability to be consistent with your diet, which is the most important part of staying healthy long term. If you're someone who heals your skin and that type of influence makes you want a little bit more and then the McDonald's or the bad food becomes a once a week habit and when then that once a week habit turns into a couple times a week, you will have eczema again if you go down that path. I think the best way to roll with this thing is to get your skin healthy, clear, and amazingly beautiful to your best ability. Go through all three phases slowly, perfectly, and in the right way and get your skin nice and healthy. Once you are there, refine your diet to the point where you know where you have the wiggle room and you know where you don't have the wiggle room. For instance, if I am craving a hamburger from McDonald's, I can create a hamburger at home with all super healthy ingredients. I can do a gluten-free whole cornmeal bun with organic lettuce, tomatoes, sugar-free ketchup, a little bit of homemade mayonnaise, maybe some bacon. Amazing, that will take away my craving and it was not a cheat meal for me. I know where my macros need to be at the end of the day. I'll account for my carbohydrate intake. I'm eating all whole foods and healthy ingredients. Nothing lost. Also, I think you have to check in with why do you want to eat cheat meals or eat whatever you want? The system that I teach is a system of creating a diet that you enjoy, learning what foods are the best for you and then learning how to make them taste really, really good. That is the key to long-term success with a diet. Make it taste good, make it sustainable, um, make it be all whole foods and you really have no worries at all. People want cheat meals because they're on a diet. People need to get off of their diet because they're on a diet. If your sustainable long-term diet tastes good, is easy to follow, gives you lots of options, then you really don't ever need to cheat or go back to eating the way that you used to. So I think that you have to take into account the worst case scenario. What happens if either by choice or by accident you go on a trip somewhere and you're just stuck eating all you have is food that doesn't work for you and, and that's all you have and you're not gonna water fast for 10 days. So let's say you either cheat or you do have to eat some crappy food. If you go through the three phases and you get to the place where you have holistically cured your skin disease, you're gonna know exactly what to do if things fall apart. You just resort back to that year one, back to the three phases, back to the habits that got you there in the first place. When I work with my clients, a lot of them are busy, prominent business people who have to travel all over the world doing deals. And 
they go somewhere and maybe they have a bad meal or two. Well, what we do when they get home or the next day, we do a miniature cleanse, put the body into deep autophagy, wash out the toxins, and then reestablish that healthy diet. When it comes down to it, people, the thing that is going to heal and cure your skin more than anything else is your diet. Once you've gone through the three phases of skin disease reversal and you understand what to eat and what to avoid for you as a person, you must sustain it for the rest of your life. The key is to make it taste good and to make your diet yours as an individual. Lots of different options, lots of different textures, and individualized for you. If you make your diet taste good, and you're eating enough calories, you're not gonna have the desire or need for cheat meals or super crappy meals. Plus, if your diet is on point and you do get a craving, you can always go to the super healthy version of that meal. If you've done all the work to make your skin healthy, don't blow it by going to Dairy Queen. I guarantee five seconds of mouth pleasure is not worth 24 hours of great health. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and share if you like the video. Hit the like button. Um, if you're looking to get a hold of me to become a private client, there's a link in the description box for a consultation. Um, the three phases workbook, what I've been kind of referencing throughout this video is at holistichealthactivation.com. It's a skin disease reversal workbook, step-by-step um, -step guide. You can check it out there. On Instagram, you can find me as Stuart Rob Stewart. And today I have nothing really to babble about. So the end of the video babble will be nothing. Just kidding. Um, I always have crap to babble about. Here's what I'm, here's what I'm curious today, my friends. So, and it is, it has to do with the topic of the video. If you were to fully cure your skin and be in the place that I'm at, would you have cheat meals? Would you allow yourself once in a while just to eat whatever the hell you want, even if you knew there was a possibility of it being an eczema trigger, an eczema trigger food?